Hi, welcome to this Corporate Maths video on matrix transformations. In this video, we're going to look at how to answer some typical questions based on matrix transformations. So first of all, let's have a look at our first question. Our first question says, find where the matrix minus 2, 1, 3, 4 maps to point 3, negative 2. So this is the transformation matrix, and this is the point that's going to be transformed or moved. So to find where this point will move to after the matrix is, or the transformation matrix is applied, we'll simply just multiply the point by the matrix. So let's first of all write down our transformation matrix, our minus two, one, three, four, and then we'll write down our point as a matrix. So we'll write three, negative two. And to find where it moves to, we'll just multiply them. So, and if you need a recap on that, watch the video on corporate maths for multiplying matrices, and you'll see how to do this in a bit more detail. I'm sort of going to go through and do this multiplication as if you know how to do that. So if you need to, go back and watch that video. So to multiply this, we're going to multiply the first row by the column. So we're going to do minus two times three. Well, minus two times three is minus six. Then we're going to do 1 times minus 2, that's minus 2, and then we're going to add them together. So we'll have minus 6 and we'll be adding on minus 2. And then for the bottom number in our matrix, we're going to multiply the second row by the column. So we'll do 3 times 3 is 9, and we'll add that to 4 times minus 2, and 4 times minus 2 is minus 8. And let's see what we get whenever we simplify that. So minus 6 plus minus 2, that's going to be minus 8. And then 9 plus minus 8, well, that's going to be 1. So if we transform this point by this transformation matrix, it will move to the point minus 8, 1. OK, let's have a look at our next question. The transformation matrix 5w minus 1, 4 maps the point 1, 7 to the point minus 9, 27. Find w. So in this question, we've been told the point that's going to be moved, and we've been told where it moves to. We just need to find this missing number in the matrix. So what we know is we know if we multiply this point by this matrix, this will be the answer. So let's write that down. So 5 w minus 1 4 and then the point that's going to be transformed that's the point 1 7 and we know if we multiply that we get minus 9 27 so let's do our multiplication and see what we get so let's multiply our first row by the column so the first row times the column so that's going to be 5 times 1 so 5 times 1 is 5 and then we've got w times 7 so that's going to be plus 7 w and that equals minus 9 so if we solve this equation, we should be able to find our value for w really easily. So if we take away 5 from both sides, we get 7w equals minus 14. And then if we divide by 7, we get w equals minus 2. So w is minus 2. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So our next question says the transformation matrix M is B1, 3, minus 2. And the image of the point 2A under M is 12, 14. Find A and B. So this is the point that we're starting with. We're going to multiply it by the matrix and we're going to find where it moves to, which is 12, 14. So let's write that down. So we've got B1, 3, negative 2. And we're going to multiply that by the point that's going to be moved. That's the point 2A. And we know that that moves to 12, 14. So again, let's multiply the first row by the column. And if we multiply the first row by the column, we know the answer will be 12. And then we'll multiply the second row by the column. And then we know the answer is going to be 14. And that'll then help us get our values for A and B. So first of all, our first row times the column. So that's going to be B times 2. That's 2B. And then we're going to multiply 1 by A. So it's going to be A. And that equals 12. OK, and then our second multiplication, so that's going to be the second row times the column. So that's 3 times 2, and 3 times 2 is 6. And then we've got minus 2 times a, so it's going to be minus 2a, and that equals 14. So here we've got two equations. Our left-hand one has got b's and a's. The other one on the right-hand one has just got a. So I'm going to solve this one first of all, and then use my answer to find b. So let's find a. So let's take away 6 from both sides of the equation. So it's going to be minus 2a equals 14 take away 6 would be 8. And then we're going to divide both sides of the equation by negative 2. So that's going to give us a equals minus 4. So now we know that a is equal to minus 4, we can go over to our left-hand equation, our 2b plus a equals 12. And we know a is equal to minus 4. So we can write 2b. And instead of writing plus minus 4, I'm just going to write minus 4 equals 12. Add 4 to both sides gives us 2b equals 16. And dividing by 2 gives us b equals 8. So our answers are a equals minus 4 and b equals 8. And that's it. OK, let's have a look at our next question now. So our next question says, the transformation matrix 1, 0, 0, minus 1 maps the point p to q. Then the transformation matrix 2, 1, minus 1, 0 maps the point Q to the point R. And we've been given this first point of P, and we've been asked to work out the coordinates to the point R. So there's two transformations that are happening here. First of all, we've got this point P, the point 4, minus 3. We're going to multiply by this matrix, and that'll tell us what the point Q is. We'll then take that point Q and we'll multiply by our next transformation matrix, and that'll tell us the point R. 
Okay, so let's do that. So we're going to write down our first transformation matrix, which is 1, 0, 0, minus 1. And we'll multiply it by the point 4, minus 3. And that'll tell us the point Q. So the first row times the column, well, 1 times 4 is 4, and 0 times minus 3 is 0. Adding them together is 4. And our second row times the column, 0 times 4 is 0, minus 1 times minus 3 is 3. Adding them together is 3. So the point Q is the point 4, 3. Next, we're now going to multiply that by, we know the point Q, if it's multiplied by the transformation matrix 2, 1, minus 1, 0, it gives us the point R. So the point R will be, well, if we take the transformation matrix 2, 1, minus 1, 0, and we multiply it by the point Q, which is 4, 3, we should then get the point R. So we will get the point R. So multiplying the first row by the column, so 2 times 4 is 8, 1 times 3 is 3, add them together, that's 11. And then the second row times the column, minus 1 times 4 is minus 4. 0 times 3 is 0, add them together, is minus 4. That's it. So the point R is the point 11 minus 4. Okay, let's have a look at part B. So part B says, what is the matrix of the combined transformation? So in this question, what we did was we took a point, P, we multiplied it by a transformation matrix, and we got the point Q, and then we applied a second transformation matrix and got the point R. Now, rather than applying two transformation matrices, what we could do is create a combined transformation matrix. Now, what I'm actually going to do is spend a bit of time now looking at how we would find that combined transformation matrix. So let's have a look at a different scenario. So we've got this point P, which is the point 5, 2, and we're going to apply a transformation matrix a, which is the matrix minus 1, 0, 0, 1, to get the point Q. Then what we're going to do is we're going to multiply it by another matrix, matrix B, another transformation matrix, to get the point R. And that's the matrix 0, minus 1, minus 1, 0. And then what we're going to do is we're going to look at how do we find this combined transformation matrix? How do we find the one matrix that would bring us from the point P to the point R? So first of all, let's start off by looking at the point P, I'm applying the transformation matrix minus 1, 0, 0, 1. So we're going to take our matrix minus 1, 0, 0, 1, and we're going to multiply it by 5, 2. So let's see what we get. So minus 1 times 5 is minus 5. 0 times 2 is 0, so it's going to be minus 5. And then we're going to do 0 times 5, and 0 times 5 is 0. 1 times 2 is 2, adding them together is 2. So the point Q would be minus 5, 2. So now what we're going to do is apply transformation matrix B, this 0, minus 1, minus 1, 0, to find the point R. So we're going to take our matrix 0, minus 1, minus 1, 0, and multiply it by minus 5, 2. So 0 times minus 5 is 0, minus 1 times 2 will be minus 2, and then minus 1 times minus 5 is 5, 0 times 2 is 0, so that's going to be 5. So our point R would be the point minus 2, 5. Right, so we had the point P, 5, 2, we applied transformation matrix A, we got the point Q, and then we applied transformation matrix B, and we got the point R, the point we were looking for, which is minus 2, 5. Now let's look and see how do we find this combined transformation matrix that brings us straight from the point P to the point R. So let's consider what we did. So we started off with our point, our coordinate, our point 5, 2, and we multiplied it by transformation matrix A. So we multiplied it by transformation matrix A. And this answer is Q. And then we multiply it by transformation matrix B, which is this matrix, and that will give us our final point R. Now, the order whenever you multiply matrices is important, so it has to be matrix B times the matrix A times the point that you started with. So the combined transformation matrix that brings us straight from point P to point R is the matrix BA. So let's have a look and see what we get. First of all, let's multiply our matrices and get our matrix BA and multiply it by a point and just see where it moves to and show that's correct. And then let's have a look at matrix AB and just see you know, why that might not necessarily be correct. So the matrix BA. So the matrix BA, if we multiply these two matrices together, well, the first row times the first column would be 0 times minus 1 is 0, minus 1 times 0 is 0, adding them together is 0. The first row times the second column, 0 times 0 is 0, minus 1 times 1 is minus 1 adding them together is minus 1. The second row times the column, minus 1 times minus 1 is 1, and 0 times 0 is 0, adding them together is 1. And finally, the second row times the second column, minus 1 times 0 is 0, 0 times 1 is 0, adding them together is 0. So the matrix BA is the matrix 0, minus 1, 1, 0. Now if we had a look at and done the multiplication the other way around, so the matrix AB, I'm just going to actually write these out, minus 1, 0, 0, 1, and we're going to multiply that by the matrix B, which is 0, minus 1, minus 1, 0. Let's have a look and see what the transformation matrix AB would be. So we multiply the first row by the column, we get minus 1 times 0 is 0, 0 times minus 1 is 0, 
Okay, let's now multiply the first row by the second column. So minus 1 times minus 1 is 1. 0 times 0 is 0, and them together is 1. The second row times the first column. 0 times 0 is 0. 1 times minus 1 is minus 1. And finally, the second row times the second column. 0 times minus 1 is 0. 1 times 0 is 0, and them together is 0. Now let's multiply both of these matrices by the point 5, 2, and just see. And, and let's just verify that the transformation matrix will be BA. So the point P is the point 5, 2. And let's see where they will be transformed to under our two matrices. So if we multiply our first row by the column, 0 times 5 is 0, minus 1 times 2 is minus 2, and 1 times 5 is 5, 0 times 2 is 0, and then together it's 5. That's it. So as you can see, whenever we take the point P and multiply it by the matrix BA, it brings us straight to the point R, which is minus 2, 5. So let's have a look and see why the matrix AB would not work. And that's very important because some students that I teach sometimes think, well, it, you know, surely it can be in any order. And if we do that, we get 0 times 5 is 0, 1 times 2 is 2. As you can see, that's wrong. And then minus 1 times 5 is minus 5. 0 times 2 is 0, and them together is minus 5. So that it clearly isn't the point Q. That's it. So if we want to find this combined transformation matrix in our question that we were given, what we're going to do is take the second transformation, which is our 2, 1, minus 1, 0, and then we're going to multiply that by the first transformation, which is 1, 0, 0, minus 1, and that will be our combined transformation. So 2 times 1 is 2, 1 times 0 is 0, adding them together is 2. The first row times the second column, 2 times 0 is 0, 1 times minus 1 is minus 1, Next, minus 1 times 1 is minus 1, 0 times 0 is 0, and them together is minus 1. And finally, the second row times the second column, minus 1 times 0 is 0, 0 times minus 1 is 0, and them together is 0. So the matrix of the combined transformation would be 2, minus 1, minus 1, 0. So if we multiply the point we were given to begin with, this 4 minus 3, by that combined transformation matrix, it would have given us our coordinates to point R as being 11 minus 4. Okay, let's have a look at one last question now. So our last question says, the transformation matrix 0, 1, 1, 0 maps the point P to Q. The transformation matrix minus 4, 0, 0, minus 4 maps the point Q to R. And it says the point R, this final point, is minus 12, 4. And the question asks to work out the coordinates of the point P. So this coordinate here, I'm just going to call it x, y to begin with. OK, so what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to find the combined transformation matrix. So I'm going to take our second transformation matrix, our minus 4, 0, 0, minus 4. And I'm going to multiply it by the first transformation matrix, which is 0, 1, 1, 0, to get the combined transformation matrix. So if we do that, minus 4 times 0 is 0. 0 times 1 is 0, so 0. OK, next, minus 4 times 1 is minus 4. 0 times 0 is 0, and them together is minus 4. Next, our second row times our first column. 0 times 0 is 0. Minus 4 times 1 is minus 4. Add them together is minus 4. And finally, 0 times 1 is 0. Minus 4 times 0 is 0, and them together is 0. So our combined transformation matrix that would bring us straight from point P to point R is the transformation matrix 0, minus 4, minus 4, 0. Now what we're going to do is we're going to multiply this by our coordinate we were, what we're trying to find, our x, y, and we know the answer will be minus 12, 4. So let's write that down. So if we take our transformation matrix, our 0, minus 4, minus 4, 0, and we multiply it by x, y, we get the answer minus 12, 4. Okay, so let's multiply this together. So 0 times x is 0, minus 4 times y is minus 4y, and that equals minus 12. And then our second row times a column, minus 4 times x will be minus 4x, and 0 times y is 0, and then together will just be minus 4x, and that equals 4. So dividing both sides of this equation by minus 4 will give us that y equals 3, and dividing both sides of this equation by minus 4 will give us x equals minus 1. So the coordinates of the point P will be the coordinates of minus 1, 3. And that's it.